Hey everybody, Jason here, and today I wanted to do a quick little look at a new Lego set that I just built. Um, I recently streamed the build of this over two separate nights on Twitch, and I've put up already uh, like a three minute video that was a, basically a speed build of the entire thing. Uh, but it's James Bond's uh, Austin Martin DB5. Uh, so. When I got the package, I actually got this really cool little exclusive license to build, which is neat. It's all pretty legit. I'm super happy with it. Um, and then it came with obviously a nifty little building instructions that it made out to look like a cube branch classified file. And I, I don't know. I just think like overall, the way that they did this was very nice. You know, there's parts about the actual car, just concepts. <laughs> I check the seat. You're joking. <laughs> I don't know. They just they did a very good job of portraying the uh, sort of the feeling of the whole car, and I and I like that. I appreciate stuff like that in general. Uh, all sorts of nifty little touches, and even like the the manual. Uh, especially like they did for the Ghostbusters car. Uh, super fantastic. Either way, let's take a look at the actual car. Ba -da -bum. There we go. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> Need to clean my table. Uh, either way, this is it. This is the Aston Martin DB5. Um, I've got a little Technic uh, driver in there because he actually happens to fit perfectly. Uh, it doesn't come with the actual set, mind you. Those were gone in like the early 2000s. Um, but I just wanted to go over a little bit about what this car actually does and what it offers as far as like special features. <laughs> it's all tricked out with kit and shit. Um, Either way, I, I love I love the look of this car. I think they did uh, some really nice uh, building methods in order to give everything like the perfect look. Um, even from like the exhaust pipe to the uh, bumpers and the way that the roof and windows curve and everything like that, I think it's perfect. But uh, overall, uh, it's a very nice build. This took me. Uh, roughly four hours to build while being distracted by a James Bond movie uh, on stream. So <laughs> uh, it probably wouldn't have taken me that long if had I just been concentrating on it. But I like to have fun with my builds. Uh, so let's just sort of start from the front here. Uh, on the front, you have the uh, rotating license plate, of course, valid in all countries, naturally. And then you have a bonnet. Uh, that reveals a nice looking engine compartment. Very nice. I like that very much. I like the way that the hood was designed. Uh, it's a very, very nice design. Obviously you have little details like the, um, like the rear view mirrors and then the actual uh, headlights here, which I like how they actually got them to be on the angle by having them basically held in by one of those little droid arms. Um, very nifty. Uh, the way that the grill was put in was actually kind of neat too because it's like sort of like floating in there just sort of sandwiched in the gaps between uh, these two arch pieces and then uh, we got like the little Austin Martin decal here too uh, just the same as you actually have like the DB5 decal on the side. Uh, the way that they did these vents in here like basically it's just they gave you uh, these little slots and made a rail and so you could push this piece in here and that's that's how they actually give it that that little um, that look it, it, I think it's fantastic absolutely fantastic it certainly wasn't supposed to come out that way <laughs> and then you have the actual wheels and tires themselves uh, I love the spokes uh, this is supposed to be the little um, the, the tire cutters that come out, although it's kind of fiddly to actually do, so I'm not gonna be doing that one, uh, but a very nice look to those. And then as you move around to the side of the car, you actually get the cockpit here, or the driver's compartment, where you have a door on the driver's side that reveals a hidden spy phone. I, I love it. It's such a nice cat touch. And the way that the doors actually work are fantastic. Like they have, 
like a very good feel to it and they hold in place very nicely and there's my like pseudo bond of course he's got his um <laughs> got a steering wheel right there and then we'll move over to the other side no other function in the uh actual uh passenger side door however i'm not sure if you can see it there's the radar screen I'm trying to get it to focus yeah there we go but basically there's a little turning dial that you can change from having like the regular dash to having the uh, radar and then of course you have this uh, gear stick which moves back and forth and what that does I can actually find the lever. It reveals the front, left, and right uh, mounted wind, uh, machine guns. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, moving around to the moving around to the back of the vehicle, you have again uh, the changing license plate. This one doesn't click into place as nicely as the one in the front does. Uh, but it's still quite nice to have that touch on both sides. Um, you have your bonnet or your boot. <laughs> I've got to get my terminology right. It gives you these uh, little stands to actually put the um, the tire cutters on. But like I said, it's a little bit fiddly to get it out of there. But either way, it's nice that they actually include a working uh, boot and bonnet. And then if you twist this uh, tailpipe, you actually raise the bulletproof deflector, and I love it. This is probably the only part that I think is weak in the fact that it doesn't have enough of a rail on it to stop it from hitting against the back of the uh, the boot sometimes, so it just it kind of just floats a little bit too freely in there. Uh, but otherwise, it is pretty fantastic. Now, the last part I am saving for last, as it is probably the best part, is the ejector seat. Um, if you pull on this part of the bumper here, uh, it releases that part of the hood, or the roof, and then you let go of it. <laughs> Out comes the ejector seat. <laughs> You're joking. Uh, but yeah, so you have like the actual uh, car seat, got a little plug there, so you put it back. Like, and I'm, and I'm kind of glad that the, the actual piece of the hood does not actually detach, like it doesn't just like fly away, it's actually attached to the car still. But it's just great. I tried putting one of the uh, Technic people in there uh, to actually have it fling them, but it's, it's far too heavy. Um, it, it works for what it is. <laughs> and I still love it. I think the fact that they have an injector seat, and I know, I know this is like super basic, like actual Lego engineering, but still, I love it. I think it's fantastic. And the fact that they're actually able to keep the overall look of the car while adding in the, uh, the actual ejector seat and um, the, the removable roof section, perfect. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, this is a wonderful kit. Um, I had a lot of fun building it, and I hope that if you guys get to build it too, uh, that you have just as much fun as I did. But either way, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and you have a nice day. Bye-bye.